stinking cute are these coffee mugs. This one says Wicked Warrior inside. I couldn't help it. I found these at Marshall's. I love them, but I hate them at the same time because they're so tiny and I drink a lot of coffee. And so I've been making a lot of trips to and from the coffee maker. <laughs> Justin's like, those are so stupid. And I'm like, but they're so cute. One of those things uh, that you sacrifice for the cuteness. <laughs> Good morning, you guys, and welcome to my week in the life vlog. Because it is the last week of Halloween, there's a few Halloween themed activities that I would like to do with Sierra. Carve some pumpkins and we might bake some cookies. Yeah? I think that sounds like fun. I just want to relive my childhood through my child, okay? This is this is what it really boils down to for me. <laughs> but also keeping her entertained and happy is good too. We're gonna have some breakfast pretty soon. Yeah. Maybe go for a walk, maybe go to the park. Yeah. 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 By the way, I like never ever have the kids in matching outfits. This is pretty much like the only matchy set I have for them. It's like little foxes and, and raccoons and kind of Halloween-y with the black and orange. So sticking with the theme here. Our usual eggs for breakfast over easy today. In fact, Sierra actually prefers over easy eggs versus scramble, don't you, sweetheart? Got some avocado for her as well. Avocado for the baby. I just started feeding him solids last week and that's been going pretty well. And on my eggs, I have arugula. You wanna help me with dishes? Yeah. Okay, let's do it, let's go. Got the kids loaded up here in the stroller. Try to see if I can go maybe to the high school track if there's nothing going on after school hours right now and maybe do some laps. Otherwise I have a plan B of walking through the neighborhood like usual. Well darn, just my suspicion, there is track practice going on. I do have one more idea before I hit my plan B while I'm here. So I actually discovered these stairs just recently. I'm kind of thinking about running up and down these stairs really quick. Although Logan's not napping, so I'll try it. And if he starts losing it, we gotta walk. That was just enough time and frankly endurance. I was tapped out at six laps, but Logan is losing it. I just wanted to show how awesome this soccer field is up here. It's so pretty. I definitely want to take Sierra back on a weekend or later in the evening when there's nothing going on here and she can run around and play. Check this out. I said the I tried to put Logan down, that just didn't happen. I think he's just gonna have a very, very late nap today. I've been enjoying some of my lovely usual smoothie. Got Sierra some snacks, having her pick up her toys right now so I can get down on some chores. Very screwed up schedule today. Both the kids took naps really late in the evening, like 5.30. Logan took a short one. Justin's waking Sierra up right now. We're gonna do burgers. I got the burgers seasoned and stuff getting ready here. Got some baked beans there. We're just gonna feed Sierra, let her hang for a little bit and then put her right back to bed. Cause I mean, it's like, it's like 7.45, yeah. I'm just happy that I was able to get a shower in and have a little bit of downtime while the kids are sleeping, so.
good morning. It is Tuesday. Woke up a lot earlier than I would have liked to. I'm not a morning person despite being a trainer and a fitness enthusiast. It is a real struggle for me, honestly. I was really hoping though, since Sierra was still sleeping, that I would have a little bit of peace. Coffee to myself, maybe some YouTube, stretching, whatever. It was not the case. I swear, as soon as Logan and I were leaving the room, Sierra was waking up. That's all good. We're all hanging out. Got my coffee. Coffee is really important to me. I'm gonna get down on some uh, eye rolling here. One of my favorite things to do in the morning to help wake up my face and de-puff. I have work tonight, which is exciting. I started work up again about two months ago at, at a local athletic club. I worked there back when Justin and I were engaged for a few years, then got pregnant, so decided to take pause and raise the kids. Just teaching one class a week, it's a body blast class. So it's, you know, strength, cardio. I enjoy getting out of the house and having a break from everybody and everything. <laughs> and just kind of getting back into my element. But it's also greatly serves my purpose and my contribution to society. So that's a really good, like deeply rooted feeling that like, I think we all, need to have to some degree, no matter what it is. It doesn't necessarily have to be a job, but just something that you're doing for other people. It's serving the good of humanity. Making a buck is nice too. Membership perks. Not only are the membership perks great for the kids, but also for myself or taking other classes or if I just wanna get out of the house and not work out in my usual gym and have a change of scenery, I can work out there. before I have been doing preschool prep company DVDs for Sierra she is beyond the letters numbers shapes and colors now she has those down pretty well so we've moved on to the next phase which is I guess meet the phonics so we're doing letter sounds right now we'll probably stick to this one for a little while we have meet the blends which is as you can see there meet the diagraphs which is all of these ones here Totally forgot to mention why poor Teddy is wearing the cone of shame. He has been getting hot spots. There's one for example. This is a road that runs behind our house across the river and it's a loop. I'm gonna try to do a couple laps. It's actually really funny about setting up my camera for all these scenes is I'm getting really good interval sprints in. <laughs> it's great. That was a little over a mile. Feels good. I don't want to push it. I think I got to continue the walk. Logan just woke up. That is the one downside to a double stroller, is the older child interfering with the younger child's nap. So that is a risk that I take when I take the kids on a walk together. But to me, the fresh air, the sunshine, the exercise, you just can't beat. I didn't go over my ingredients in my smoothie yesterday, so I'm going to go over that for those of you who are interested. Frozen dark cherries, frozen okra. I have charred a couple of eggs, 
half an avocado, goat milk, kefir, spirulina, maca, moringa, a mixture of ground flax, ground chia, hemp seeds. And then I really like the cacao powder with cherries. It just adds such a delicious chocolatey flavor. Plus, I'm going to need that little boost of energy for teaching my class tonight. So I'm going to get down on this smoothie and I'm going to actually edit my video from today. I'm on my way to work now. You never know what I'm going to get, whether it's a lot of folks, little folks, or no folks at all. See how it goes tonight. So I've waited the required 15 plus minutes to see if anyone shows up to my class and I didn't have anybody here, but that's okay. I've been stretching and I'm going to continue some stretching and do a quick little workout before I hit the store on my way home. Stopped at the store on my way home from work. Just go over everything I got here. I needed this more coconut chips unsweetened, really good snack. Collard greens here, Lacinto or dinosaur kale. Those are for my smoothies. Ezekiel bread. This is flourless, so lots of good sprouted rain goodness. Also got Ezekiel cereal. Give this to Sierra for her little breakfast snack. Flourless, made of good grains. Very, very low in sugar. Do some uh, bone-in pork chops tonight for dinner. Sausages. These are a staple for us. Discovered some other sausage there that sounded good, at least to me, not to Justin. Got some chicken spinach and greens sausage to try and also italian with bell peppers so really clean ingredients on these guys so like that they come with five so justin and i can each have two and then sierra can have one we recently tried this bread man is it good so this is nice to have in the cupboard for when we're having a hankering for some bread and I'm too lazy to make it. A couple cans of this sweetened condensed milk. There is something about using this for pumpkin pie that just makes it so good. I do make my pumpkin pie with real pumpkin and not canned pumpkin, so that makes a difference too. But this stuff, legit. And I have been out of my eye cream for a little while now and they had this and they had it on sale too. So I'm really stoked about that. I love wild carrot products. They are pretty darn pure, pretty good stuff here. And this works for me, I like it. Since I did an intense workout tonight, I'm going to take my go-to powders here for recovery, creatine and MSM. Good morning. Oh, you want to watch Blippi? Yeah. Wow, we got to blow your nose. That is a snot bubble there. Oh, it's gone. Pop. We got to <laughs> suck some snot out of your nose. That's what we got to do. Look at all that snot I just sucked out of Sierra's nose. Oh, the kids are both still slowly recovering from a long winded cold. than it was yesterday. It is starting to feel like fall here in California, <laughs> like one month later. It is Wednesday and I decided to go for a walk today, a longer walk into town because there are horse stables that are open to the public on Wednesdays. And I've been meaning to take Sierra there to see 
the horsies. By the way, I did not go to Stanford. My mom works there. She gave me this hat. It's comfortable and it matches what I'm wearing. Just want to point that out. cauliflower yum and really not a big fan of tofu I hardly ever eat it but this is really good whatever they seasoned it with it's super delicious are napping right now which is like Christmas and I can do whatever I like what I've decided to do is to give myself a manicure it's much needed my nails are really long and cuticle buildup hangnails the whole thing I'm gonna watch Mr. Ballin which is like one of my favorite YouTube channels right now I have been binging him like crazy and it's like the perfect time of year to watch the spooky storytelling stuff which I absolutely love this story is a classic don't go in the woods type of story. Feels so good to have my nails cut and cleaned and manicured. Uh, kids are still sleeping and so I'm really feeling like I need to wash all that sunscreen off my face. I can just feel how heavy it is and ugh. And give myself a quick little facial, enjoy the rest of my tea and just relax. pancakes tonight. How do you like that red onion, honey? Is it good? Thanks. You're not going to have some sauerkraut, Justin? No. Why not? Because okay, it's gross? Hey, mommy, good, good night. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good night, sweetie. That was a massive poop. Good morning. It is Thursday. I was supposed to be at Bible study this morning. As bummed as I am, after changing that poop that Sierra just had, I am so relieved that we didn't go because I just would not wish that upon anybody. <laughs> For a nap. Sierra and I are watching Nightmare Before Christmas and we are about to get down on her very first pumpkin carving experience. Let's get to it. Freshly roasted pumpkin seeds not only smell 
like popcorn, which is an amazing smell. They're so delicious when they're warm and fresh from the oven. Mmm. Mmm. Looks like Sierra finished all her lunch. Yeah, good job. Having some smoothie here. Got some tuna fish with avocado mayo, lemon juice, curry powder, celery, and slivered almonds. One of my favorite go-to lunches here. Sierra's down for a nap, so I'm gonna try to squeeze in a little bit of a mild workout if I can. I have down in my bin of fitness tools, these awesome carpet sliders. So I think I might do some arms and core with those. And then I brought in my Bosu from the gym so that Sierra could play on it, which has been so much fun for her and so, so great for me. So I'm gonna take advantage of this being in here and maybe do like some stabilization leg exercises with it. dinner but it's going to be delicious butternut squash pasta here from costco this is the pumpkin i carved earlier that's for logan chicken to go with the pasta and i am browning some butter and i'm going to throw in some sage and a little bit of brown monk fruit sugar let's turn out the lights and see Yay. I have a huge to-do list this weekend because we are hosting a Taco Tuesday on Halloween, having some family friends over before we go trick-or-treating. Today, I'm thinking about maybe baking some cookies and maybe doing a little circuit workout with Sierra. Some of 
you may remember that I shared this back in one of my holiday videos. And I thought this would be really fun to do with the kiddos. So today's a good day to try this out. Your job, honey, is to throw this dice. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you going? Oh. Working out with a two-year-old. Don't know if it was a good idea. Okay. You're going to throw it. And then we're going to do the exercise that it displays. So give it a little throw. Okay. Or you can kick it. All right. Let's see what we get. Well, we're not going to do a 10 minute jog. Let's run across the driveway. Let's go. Let's run. Go. We're doing salmon tonight and I am about to make a teriyaki marinade. Cheers. Oh, mimosas are my most favorite brunch treat ever. Since it is the weekend, we are doing our usual indulgent breakfast. Not healthy today. However, I had leftover pumpkin brioche French toast from Trader Joe's, which if you haven't tried their brioche bread period, it's just incredible. And this time of year, the pumpkin out of this world. Both Justin and I have huge to-do lists this weekend to get the house ready for our little taco night on Tuesday. And so it's going to be weekend full of chores. for dinner, continuing the indulgence of the weekend. I have this lovely Simple Mills brand that I love, almond flour pizza dough. I thought I would try. You just add some apple cider vinegar, olive oil, and water and mix it up to make some dough. Got all my ingredients laid out here. Justin loves classic pepperoni. I'm gonna do some sausage, some veggies. Some Okay, I just, I just have to say that pizza crust was not good. That was not good. I don't want you guys to go buy that thinking it's great. It's not. Sometimes some things are just better left the way they are. And that is pizza crust. <laughs> it's just got to stay what it is, man. <laughs> On that note, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Appalachian sunrise 
hates my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden just finished our live stream for church. It's been a pretty relaxing, chill morning. We're having some scrambled eggs with spicy sausage. Logan's doing a little BLW, baby led weaning here with a banana. Pretty good, huh, bud? Lots of chores to do today still, so it'll be a busy day. And then tonight is a lovely Halloween party at our neighbor's house behind us, so we're super excited about that. Yay, Halloween party. You guys ready to go for a walk? Yeah. Because it is such a beautiful day, I decided to skip out on a couple to-do list items in order to take the kids on a walk to get Logan down to nap and take Sierra to the park in order for her to burn some energy and hopefully take a nap after that. Sierra just ran all the way over there to throw a piece of trash in the can. However, there's a trash can right there and right there that she ran past. <laughs> well, she went a lot further than she needed to. <laughs> it's good you're getting your exercise in though, sweetie pie. I love it. go do the stairs yeah. all right let's go do some stairs honestly going up and down these stairs is wonderful for her because we don't have stairs in our house and so she needs to learn how to navigate going up and down stairs and so this is perfect All right, I got some laundry done. I'm going to go through some hand-me-downs that are just piled up in a corner in Logan's room and get those out of the way and hopefully get this one down for a nap. Huh, buddy? Yeah. Halloween party at our neighbor's house. We are dressed up as road construction, which is what we did last year We're actually, because <laughs> Sierra gets to wear this super awesome bulldozer and she's so Sorry. into excavators right now. Honestly, this was a very simple, easy, breezy costume for Justin and I to throw together really quick. It's gonna be a good time, I'm really excited. Spooky! Let's go say hi! Come on! I'm a mama bear triathlete, obviously. Awesome. <laughs> So cool. Jet. Everyone's been doing hanging and pull up competitions over here. So Sierra wants to hang. Here we go. Woo! Get it, girl. Get it, get it. Yeah. Yeah. American Ninja Warrior. Come on. She can do it! Two and a half, man. No pull-ups yet, but they're coming. Okay, I did it. I successfully filmed a week in my life, and now I'm done. I am really happy to be done. 
But what a week it was. It was so much fun, you guys. I'm so happy I did this. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.